Hi everyone, in this video I'll talk about one of our new tools that you can easily add to your web pages, the chat bubble. The chat bubble is a shape that can be easily added to any of your web pages. It's a great tool to show dialogue on your web pages as though someone is speaking. It's also just a fun shape to use and provides many different customization options. The speech bubble is also great for showing testimonials in a fun way or making an announcement. So starting here with my dessert website, I can head to my menu page. So I can go up here to pages and click on menu. Here you can see we have an image of some chefs. So this is a great space where we can use the chat bubble. We can use the chat bubble to show it as though these chefs are speaking. The chat bubble shape is the same idea used in comic strips, where it provides a space for dialogue to be viewed. So starting on this page, I can head over to the sidebar and select Add. From here, I can select Shapes, and then I can select Chat Bubble. And you can see it appears right here. I'll just click this, and I'll drag it over here. Now I'll just scale it down a little bit so that it fits. So now I can add my own text to it and make it look as though these chefs are speaking to us. So editing the text is the same as editing a title or a paragraph. So what you can do is click right on the chat bubble and over here in the panel box select edit text. Now I can just highlight this and let's make it say something like come try some of our delicious desserts. So now I can go ahead and highlight it. And since this is a big speech bubble, I'll have to size up the text a little bit. So I'll go over here to font styles, and how about I just choose page title. Now I can scale this a little bit so that it fits and looks more natural. So if we want to make adjustments to the bubble itself, such as adjusting where the speech arrow is located, I can go ahead and click on that. And over here in the panel box, the first thing you see here is arrow settings. Now, this thing right here will allow you to change the position of this speech arrow right here. So right now it's pointing downwards, which doesn't look like it's coming from the chefs over on the left. So what I can do is click and drag the circle and move it over here. Now you can see the arrow has moved right here, exactly where I positioned it in this square right here. So I can click on this and move it down. And now it's starting to come together and look like the chefs are actually speaking to us using the speech bubble. Over here you can see there's also sections for width and length. These will allow us to adjust the width and length of the speech arrow. So I'll just show you guys what that looks like here. You can see the width goes down. You can see the length, it gets longer and shorter depending on this. That looks about good. We can also edit the style of the speech bubble. So we can click on here, and over here in the panel box, we can select style. Now you can see here we have a few presets, and these just make it easy if you don't want to do a lot of customization. Or, you can go customize this element only, and that will provide complete customization. So the first thing you'll see here is the arrow shape. So this will change the shape of this speech arrow right here. So I can go ahead and click on that, and how about I choose obtuse left. I'll show you what obtuse right looks like. Yeah, that looks good. Text margin will adjust what the text looks like inside of the box. So you can see I can move it up and down. It's basically just the margins between the top and bottom. Here's the color. What I can do with that is I can select it and I can choose a different color for the speech bubble. So how about I throw in a little bit of a light blue there. That looks good. You also have the option of adding an image. Now the next section is the border section. And this will be this outline around the chat bubble right here. So I can go ahead, click on that and what about a nice pink? Let's go well together. You can choose here, you can select the width. Make it a little thinner. You can choose corners as well. You can make them more rounded. So I'll give it a little bit of a rounded corners. Now the next section is the shadow. This will give it sort of a 3D popping effect off of the page. So I can go ahead and select that and I'll choose black because that makes sense for a shadow. And you can choose spread and blur. You can see here it looks a little three-dimensional as it's popping off the page. And it's a little easier to read as well. So a few tips on using the speech bubble. They're great for getting information across in a fun way. This could be, say, for making an announcement or directing you to a contact us page. 
They're really just a fun shape that can spice up your website with some color and creativity. So here's an example of them in use as testimonials. You can see, using our style tools, we can totally change how they look. The speech bubble is also a great tool for a call to action message. These could be things on a contact us page such as give us a call or send us an email. All right, so that was a quick tutorial on the speech bubble. I'm sure you all will be able to find many more creative and unique uses for this tool. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube. See ya.